What is up, everybody? We are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My dad and I had the opportunity of a lifetime when the UFC called us up and asked us to make drinks for the one and only Dana White with his Hallerhead bourbon. During that trip, we did a lot more than just make cocktails. We got to experience old Vegas, try the most expensive shots of tequila I've ever had, and my dad even pranked me by setting up a fight with a UFC fighter. I'm trying my best out here. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Vegas. So we had some time before heading to the UFC, and since it was my first time in Vegas, my dad wanted to start me off with something really special. All right, we are here in old Vegas. This is where it all starts. Just so you're clear, you come to Las Vegas, you should start here. This is the historic place of the Rat Pack and all those years gone by in the 60s that put Las Vegas on the map. So come on, let's go. In Jersey, you cannot have an outside open bar like this. This is right outside. Look at this in Vegas. Can't only do it right here. So I've never seen anything like this bartender. I wonder how many years it took him to practice that. My man Kajiro here is going to make us a Paloma, Mezcal Paloma. Well, wow. listen, people think I make a heavy pour. That's heavy. You want, to, you want your money's oh, work? In a drink, you got to come over here to my man. Oh my goodness. We're here at the Heart Attack Grill. If you weigh over 350, you get a free meal. So let's go see what I weigh. So it was time to leave old Vegas and head over to the UFC to tour their facilities before meeting Dana White. There were fighters we recognized everywhere. Cody Garbrandt, actually one of my favorite fighters, was nice enough to give us the opportunity of interviewing him. After that, Eric showed us around the facilities. So it was finally time to get ready to film with Dana White. And obviously we're not at our home bar, so justifiably, my dad took a lot of time to make sure he was prepared for when Dana came out. Rarely does my dad get nervous. He was altered, you know, he was super, super focused. And honestly, I was, uh, I was proud of the old man. So it was cool to see him in that sort of vulnerable state. And uh, no, he's gonna kill it today. Hey, so. Andy, how are you? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. You too, thanks great for coming. John, nice oh, to meet you. That's yeah, great, yeah. Yeah, we're it's super happening. stoked. That video is up on our channel if you haven't seen it yet. The coolest part about it was to see how into it Dana got. By the end, he was so excited, he wanted to share a shot with us from one of his prized liquor bottles in his collection. Pretty good, right? Oh my God. Yeah. Not only that, but Dana took us through his whole office. We saw his collectibles, his personal gym, his sauna. I really could not believe what I was seeing. Because you might as well be dead, seriously. If you always put limits on what you can do, physically or anything else, it'll spread over into the rest of your life. It'll spread into your work, into your morality, into your entire being. There are no limits. There are plateaus. But you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. If it kills you, it kills you. A man must constantly exceed his level. All right, so here's the drill. John has no idea what's about to happen. And I am so looking forward to this. Turns out my dad and Eric had this little plan from the start. They wanted me to roll around with ex-UFC fighter, Claudio Gadelia. So my thought was, let's get in there. Let's get in here. So what's up? Probably one of the most humbling experiences that I had. She was incredible and worked me the entire time. Tried to hold my own, but you know, I think I gotta start training for next time. So after we wrapped up, we continued the UFC media tour, and for the first time ever, Johnny Drinks made cocktails on live TV for the hosts of the UFC Weigh-In Show. The entire segment was supposed to last 10 minutes, but they all had so much fun and went on for almost a half an hour. I think it went exceptionally well. I believe that they made it easy for us, and uh, I'm looking forward. We're gonna do it again. That's not the first time you saw us live. I was, I swear to God, I was so nervous. Like, not, not nervous. I was kind of just like, all right, how do we make this as good as possible? They were having a great time with it, which is cool. They made it so easy, uh, which is so key for something like this. I gotta give him credit, man. He does a great job, and I'm so proud of him. After we finished with the UFC, we had the rest of the trip to relax. We took this time to eat a lot of great food, try some drinks, and even review some of the most expensive tequila I've ever tried. Oh my God, that, that's clean, man. If you want to see that entire review, check it out on our Instagram page. On our last night in Vegas, my dad wanted to show me something super special. I brought my son to one of the most iconic places in all of Vegas, old or new. This is the Bellagio Water Show. Wait till you see this. Being able to experience my pops has been unreal. It's still surreal. Cheers and we love you, love you and guys. I love this guy. <laughs> I love you, man.